Hi everyone, this is Carol and Morizi Wanjao, your marriage coaches. Uh, and this week we have our weekly hack, which yep. is, yeah. Why or how helping others is crucial to your marriage. Yeah, I remember when we first got married and um, I imagined that, um, you know, getting to know one another and falling deeply, ever deeply in love was, you know, through having dinners and um, uh, looking into each other's eyes. But sadly, that was not working and that was so frustrating for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And um, somehow when after we got married, um, you changed and you became more, uh, you know, um, now we're married. And um, so even those dinners, it's not that, you know, they were really exciting for you much as they might have been exciting for me. And, uh, and, and I think one of the things that we realized at the time was um, when we... Uh, did seminars for couples or when we mentored other couples or when we helped other couples then that's the way we got to grow so it wasn't the way that at least I had thought of um, of looking into each other's eyes but it was actually through helping other couples and I feel that we have really grown so I'm looking into your eyes <laughs> yes <laughs> not at least at, but <laughs> we still look into each other's eyes <laughs> so so anyway yeah that's a, that, that the whole thing is we realized every we made a commitment that every year we would actually uh, either facilitate uh, something that other couples were going through we would get another couple and mentor them we would actually share in something that our church or youth uh, young couples thing was organizing uh, to just talk about marriage and share our experience and by the way it's not like we knew a lot <laughs> in fact we were learning what we were teaching the thing that we learned is you're always a step ahead of someone else and with the little you know you can actually be a blessing but what we found is as you set out to help others, your own marriage is forced to grow. It is. And, and I feel that um, God actually steps in in, in, in in very amazing ways to help you grow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something that God does. There's a blessing for serving other couples. So what we realize is every time, sometimes we'd even be about to go in, maybe we're talking about conflict resolution in marriage and we're sharing stuff we've read in a book by the way and then we'd get to the parking lot of the church and we'd have a like major meltdown like a crisis <laughs> and then we'd have to say look before we go into the class let's, let's resolve this him. issue because we're going yeah. to be teaching about this <laughs> and we don't want to be here for <laughs> <laughs> so actually sometimes we just found that by by always being in that space and some of you are door facilitators some of you are couples and money facilitators some of you facilitate in uh, experiences that help other couples grow and what we want to encourage every couple is find a way that you can do ministry together. Find a way that you can serve others together. Preferably other couples, but even if it's not other couples, even if it's a children's ministry or something that you're both are able to give to other people. Because what we found is when we did that, inevitably, we ended up growing. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. that's our hack for the week. Find somebody, serve them, uh, serve another couple, start something for younger couples in your in your family, your siblings, your nephews. Uh, join some place where in your church where they're serving. And just figure out a way that you can serve others. Because what we found is when you serve others, you, you grow. grow. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Awesome. Well, have a good week and see you again.